Yo guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Jay Edwards here, you don't know already, I'm here to react to Blue Therapy, you know what I'm saying, because I've been seeing it going around there, yeah? well, I've been seeing it going around, and for those of you who don't know, I'm on Bat Chatting It, so that's the next rival show, do you understand, so I thought, you know what, it's been getting its views, I've been watching it, so let me just come on here and share my opinions, and you see the one named Paul wanting to come have chat for us Bat Chat people, so I thought, you know what, let me come and share my opinions in it, because this ball led boy has been having enough talking in it, so I want to come share my opinions, see what you have to say in it, let me, let me show you what I have to say in it, make sure you guys like, comment if you're new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on your post notification let's get straight into this reaction video and hold on i just got a message for chi for chioma here listen this guy doesn't rate your team do you understand we've been seeing it doesn't rate your team yeah shensia said don't itch a panda a man arm like roland boss position son of boy can't try program me yeah you see them lyrics there left the man yeah joseph wants you so go to joseph you understand joseph will probably treat you better than that pool bullet boy Lick half him head tap and go to Joseph, bruv. I'm telling you, fam, that guy doesn't want you. That guy don't need you. That guy just, you know, he's showing himself. He's embarrassing you on national TV. Do you understand? Go find the next man. Yeah? Okay, cool. Let's get straight into this video because I want to see what the reaction is saying. I want to I wanna share up my thing. All right, cool. Let's get straight into this reaction video because, you know, man, I just want to see what's going on here because you don't know what I'm saying, like, let's just, let's, let's stop playing the game. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, let's see what is going on. Therapy, I'm, I'm going to ask you both to just give me some idea how your life routine was before you got together. Yeah, what is the routine? Um, well, speaking for myself, of course, I, I went to work, I got back, I worked on my business. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I would mm -hmm. go and see Paul, um, yeah. obviously do the whole cooking here and there, and he would cook for me. And, you know, if I was in a dirty environment, I would try and clean up, but that's pretty much it. I didn't feel as though there was an obligation to do these things. She just tries to like yeah, yeah, duty um, to cook, for example, you know? Yeah. And how was your daily routine? Um, literally up in the morning, mm -hmm. out with a few clients, come back, mm -hmm. work on a few more clients online. I want to know what these clients um, are, because you're talking about these clients, and I don't see no clients. For like if you're one of these clients, days, drop a like comment that. in the description, um, in the comment section below, because I want to know what these clients yeah. are talking about. There's no so clients. So how has this changed since you've moved in together? <laughs> I'm his chef and his cleaner. She's our cooker. That's how you feel. Made. Yes, I'm that's how I feel. Um, I've got a busy schedule as well, but yeah. Paul likes it when he gets home from work and food is ready. Since I've moved in with Paul, he now wants me to cook every time I have time. Yeah. In the morning, in the evening, in the afternoon, every, every second weekends when I come back from work. Honestly speaking, he was eating prior to me moving in, so I don't understand what's going on. It wasn't takeout, you were cooking, so why don't you cook? And the thing is with him, he likes fresh meals. I'm not gonna cook. I can't lie to me, yeah? I'm with Paul on this one, you see me? Listen, I'm not no, you know, this this hierarchy of men or above women or whatever, or whatever but you see me, I like my stomach, and I would like to come home from a hardworking day knowing that my wife has cooked me. Food on the table, good to go, if I can just sit down. Yam, rub my belly and just chill out. Yeah, I understand. I don't see nothing wrong with that. Like, my woman, she just want to naturally look after me. I'm a king. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, if she doesn't cook for me, I'm going to think there's something wrong. Obviously, the man should cook as well. It's not down. It's not only the woman's responsibility, but, you know what I mean? There's nothing wrong with just being treated like a king. Come on from work, you know, sweaty and them thing there. Take a quick shower and just be like, yo, babes, food's on the table, like. That's what I like, you understand what I'm saying? Like, come on now, like, you, know, you, got, you got to give and take. For you every day, I'm not your chef. Again, I'm a yeah. Nigerian woman, I don't mind submitting to my husband or my, my boyfriend, and, I'm, mm. and I understand the importance of feeding him. Mm -hmm. yeah. But Paul eats meal preps. He eats rubbish, um, bland, uh, bland food, unseasoned oh, food. I, I don't mind doing that, maybe on a Sunday, a Sunday evening, no, but he Sunday. would like me to prepare these horrible dishes every single day. At any time, do you ever eat the same meal together? Let me tell you one of my biggest problems. He's kind of denounced our cultural foods. Oh. Yes. So he has issues with the fact it's oily, mm. even though he eats ice cream and he has takeout, he finds it um, too heavy. You don't have to eat it during the week, but on Sundays, for example, we can have a, a, a dinner we could have yeah. some African dishes that, and that's one of the yeah. reasons he actually fell in love with me, my cooking. And all of a sudden now it's too fresh. Hey yo, that's yeah, 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 yeah. That's one way I can fall in love with you. Can I throw it down in the kitchen. Yo, 
Yeah. I'm sure it's too heavy and it's too fatty. Mm. There's too many calories in these dishes for him. Um, is this, have you always watched the calories and uh, your weight, presumably, if you're watching the calories? Or is this a new scenario? It's a very good question. Uh, I feel like trauma is very selfish. Ah! Uh, what's funny? Hey! How am I selfish? Because I want to cook for you. How is okay, she selfish, how, What's funny, though? The fact you just out this said guy's I'm head selfish. Shining. What does that mean? I wasn't laughing. No, Somebody well, whacks his first head of all, I'm not selfish. Shoe I would like to cook for him, but he makes it very difficult to cater mm. to him when I'm busy as well. Based on the question she asked, in terms of my food history, you basically have knowledge of it. Um, you know, I don't know you to tell you anything about myself, but... Listen, you don't know her, but you're sitting down in front of the woman now. This is your woman. Your woman is right beside you. She wants to sort things out. Stop saying how you don't know the woman. If you don't know the woman, then leave. Like, every means, oh, I don't know you, I don't know you. Then get out. Here we are. I'll give you a tiny bit of uh, background. So uh, I, I actually went through um, depression at a stage and oh. um, food was my outlet. Oh. So at that time, um, you know, if I was going through stress or anything, I used to eat and that was just me making myself feel happy for the short yeah. term, but damaging my own body in the long term. Mm. Um, it actually took me quite a while to, you know, lose the weight. Get into I shape. I can relate and, to him on that know, because since I've kind of got back on track, I've been uh, health, very basically religious and strict so with my workouts. You know, my so my diet and stuff like that. You know, I literally I have relate. a board um, in a room which shows you know what you can I can see that she's feeling that I bad very now. seriously. I feel bad. Made her feel bad. Ah, she's feeling bad. In some way, I don't understand why he didn't feel comfortable enough to speak to me about it, and it really does upset me that. You know, I'm hearing about it. For but now that you're, you know, you're very pretty. Like the hair's laid. I can't see no lace. Your face is beat, bro. Like you're looking very scrumptious. I can't lie. Like if Paul ain't treating you nice, I'll just say good to Joseph in it. Like your niggas wrong thing. You understand what I'm saying? Like can't lie. Or if Joseph, my hair's all. You understand what I'm saying? Like you know, <laughs> well I can't lie. You're looking very nice, modest, clean. Like I like the way how you're looking. Your face is beat. You look nice time in our therapy session i didn't tell trauma about my depression because i feel like first of all it's something that's very sensitive um, and personal don't come snap me now and at the same time she she can be quite insensitive as well so you know if i'm just going to just kind of give off something just like that it's easy for her to kind of use that to manipulate and potentially push my buttons basically and i I wasn't going to have that. And just excuse me, were you doing this when you were together? Can I just point something out? This is my problem with him. So he's just expressed something to you that he's never expressed to me. Mm, I had no that. idea that he was depressed and used food as an outlet. You've never for once told me that. And we've been I can't lie, communication within a relationship is really important. If you're not communicating this with a girl, then there's always going to be like a level of communication that you like there's just gonna always be something that is missed and you know she's gonna get pissed off or both of you get pissed off there's gonna always be that thing where it's like there's gonna be a level of like there's gonna be a, always a misunderstanding between both of you because she doesn't know where certain things is coming from from like it could be the tone of voice etc etc absolutely fine but the fact that you used to cook before and now you don't want to cook is what i'm complaining about I had no idea that yeah, you were depressed, babe. Like, you could have easily said that yeah. to me. You could have had a yeah. conversation about this and I would never bring it up. Mm. Okay. Mm. So let's look at it like this, right? Okay. I used to cook for you, right? Yes, you he did. You used to all the time. What did I used to cook? He would make, like, rice, some stew, chicken. Do you um, see me eating that now? Let me ask you a question. Like, he's the kind of guy that gives you, like... He just makes you look like a dickhead. The way I've kind like... of changed my food and lifestyle... Mm has made me into the man that I am. And if you're happy with what you have, why would you, compl does this, okay, look, okay, babe, all right, L look at me, look at me. N not in a cocky way, but just, just look at me. Do, what do does you, that well, mean? Do, do you like what you see? When I met him, he was fat. Oh, okay. really? So, yes, so we <laughs> started, so he started he gymming. Like, yeah, and my, African dishes, these fatty dishes, also built you to the man you are today. Correct? Mm -hmm. African you dishes. loved it. The majority Correct? of it's African fat. dishes are filled with carbs. <laughs> Muscles are built based on protein, so technically speaking... Well, that's you right. can eat beans. You can eat beans and yam porridge. You can eat all these things. Can you not? I feel mm. like with Chama's diet, she doesn't take it seriously. 
Um, you know, mm. considering what I do, the people I work with, and the results that I get, the results I've got for myself, though, like, I think that should kind like of motivate her. Me. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it's very, mm. To take her diet it's more very, seriously, mm. but she doesn't, and that's basically a red flag to me. Like, how how are we gonna work? I'm not even trying to make it every single day. That's the that's thing. Not I'm that not deep, trying bro. to make him eat that every single day. For me, I just want it to be incorporated in, in our lifestyle. If we have children, yeah. my kids are going to eat these things. I hope you know. And I hope they're even yeah. addicted to pounded yam. If you don't like it, that's your you business. You have to give them the culture food, yeah? You can live food, yeah? on your, in Jamaica, um, the steam fish, your prep, your black that, chicken. What's it, that? Is it, salt um, fish and a fried dumpling. No, a rumpling. No girl can ever come and tell me that I can't give that to my children. We have touched on it before, but I'd like to just bring it back to. for the moment. Mm. The trust issue. Yeah. The Who'd trust like to uh, start on that one? Um, he looks so fed up with you. I can't so lie to Deborah him. claims that she doesn't trust me. Um, yeah, well, why do Which you... is... What's the word for it? Absurd. Mind-boggling, because... Absurd. I feel like trust is so important in a relationship. If she doesn't mm. trust me, why are you... Why exactly are we in this relationship, honestly? Mm. Have you ever given her a reason to trust you? Before, I don't think there's actually a particular type. Well, there's actually never. never. So you never lied and said that you were somewhere and you were somewhere else? No, I never. Memory loss. Oh, everyone's done it. Like I've done it. Everyone's about? done it. Come on. Um, so Jamal told me that he was training a client. Which I was. Actually, he wasn't. He was just at his boy's house. Now, he wasn't actually doing anything wrong, but you said you were training a client, but you were at your mm. friend's house. It's just little things like that. It's yeah. dishonesty, and it really didn't have to happen. Yeah, there's more things build up. I'm not going to lie, Deborah. Your you're talking house. to That's things. Yeah. There's more was things there a reason why you yeah, didn't yeah, say yeah. where you were? I literally went to go and collect some equipment. That was the only reason, and I went back to my training my client. No. Yes. yes. Oh. Yes. This, that's not what he told me. Now it's a different story because you said that actually mm. you wanted to train him that day, but then you ended up chilling. Draw so him then out. now you're saying. Draw him you... out. Okay, well, <laughs> it's just bad like, I don't want to talk about that. Jamel is just too exactly. dodgy. Like, we're always having female. Why are they always There's in the same clothes? Around what? Him. Whether it's close. clubhouse or his fitness, we're just always having See, issues chat, about it. And that actually increases the trust issues that we have and more reason why I'm always seeking to find out like where he's going or what he's doing. I think you did mention before that that some of his one time six hours I on street, decided to stop off off and pick up Jamel from um, one of his training sessions in Brixton and you know he didn't expect me to come up I went upstairs and I was just like hovering around and I wasn't really understanding the kind of contact that he was having with some of the females. Um, it was contact. a little bit close. Yeah, it was too close for me. He's a gym um, person. He's a yeah, trainer. Yeah, that's another thing that Were you expecting to stand two meters away whilst you know, he's training somebody? Strange. Is that, that like within the realms so of your job, though? With really contact, I rarely touch any client. I feel like that's literally a PT protocol. Like, you never touch them. I, I don't think you were touching. I would just say, you know, just the interaction, the verbals. Like, I okay. could hear what you guys were speaking she about. She comes across as very insecure. Entirely though. about training. So what was it yeah, about? She comes across a bit insecure. You know what you were speaking about with that girl. Like, let's not even... Let me not even name like drop, because you're not going to want that, like, OK? So you know what you're doing. She knows that she's doing stuff, and she would I just feel like you're so fixated on something. something. Well. I feel that's the issue with Deborah. Once she kind of has a, her Idea. mind set on something, yeah. that is it. And there's no change in that. I feel like it's just I've met it's a bit too like much. You, it's overbearing, mm -hmm. honestly. So, D Denise, can I, can I... Are you, you're familiar with palm oil, right? With... Palm oil? Palm oil, yes. Yeah. Do you eat it at all? I don't know. Oh Why? She's white. I've never used it in cooking, so okay. I it's, it's quite bad for you, actually. It's quite bad for your insides. So, but at the same time, if you know, to be fair, if you did use it wow. um, in cooking <laughs> in terms of, well, proportionately, you know, if you weigh it, stuff like Probably that, even some people don't do that. But if you did, then maybe you'd be able to calculate what you're eating. So, mm. in theory, what I'm trying to say is, I don't have an issue with African dishes, but if they're not, if the calories are not calculated, you're just filling your gut and you don't even know what's going on with your body. You do have an yeah. issue with African dishes because if you're talking about calories, like I said before, he eats ice cream. 
He eats it's donuts. Calculated. It's calculated. He eats donuts it's and calculated. he also eats takeouts, so pizza calculated. and etc. It's calculated. I don't need to calculate. Did your, did your mum calculate when she was making you African dishes? These foods are not calculated. I calculate with my eyes. So I know how much palm oil I put in there. I know how much oil and ingredients and Maggie I need to put in these dishes. My ancestors never calculated. I'm mom... sorry, that's cap, that's cap, because we don't calculate shit. We just taste, put in, taste, put in. Like it's different measurements every single time. You can't say that we use the same exact measurements every single time. We taste some, we put in. If it's too salt, we'll put more salt in there. If we need more Maggie, we put more Maggie in there. If you need some our purple seasoning, we put more our purple seasoning in there. Don't, don't, tell, don't tell no lie about your cocky. You don't calculate shit, please. I didn't calculate, please. nor did my grandma. Nobody that That's taught me how to me. make my traditional food it's, it's not calculated. But is there some way that, you, that maybe you could prepare the food in a more healthy way that would be more suited yeah. to I'm not gonna the way remix Paul the food. wants to eat? Who, I'm not going to remix jollof rice or remix um, pounded yam and F4 rural. I'm not going to You have to that. compromise. That's you how it's supposed to taste. If you remix it, it becomes something else. But there must possibly, you know... Surely there's a way that you could work together to find yeah. food that works for you. You're just being ignorant. I think now. he's just so become sticking up for you too ignorant. I think for him, tough, he feels like eating him. these kinds of food makes him look bad, or you feel some type of way. Maybe eating with your hands is—is is that what it is? I I, I disagree. There's so no I've actually realised that Paul's got an issue with African dishes. We're Nigerian. We grew up on these food so I, I'm a bit confused I can't eat African food every single day um, but I wish to incorporate it into our lives and our and our yes. dishes you know I am African I'm proud to be African I'm proud yeah. to be Nigerian and I'm proud of the Look, dishes boy. I cook when we first started yeah. dating right um, well, you know, we used to, I, I remember I took her to this restaurant in Peckham it's called Lolak mm. or Lolake there's that. When we go there, we're getting down. It's kind of like a real bush. No, 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 let me not say bush, but kind of, you know, you get down, you use your hands and all that stuff. But when you kind of think about it, you know, if I'm wearing a 2K suit, do I want to be in Peckham Market? No. I'd probably want to be Piccadilly Circus. So, no. in other words, you're saying that I'm bush. I'm not saying you're bush. Because but I, we go out bush. to high-end restaurants. I would still love to eat pounded yam and eferuro. But it's always going to be a part of no, me. No, 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 that's, that's What not, I yeah. am telling you, Paul, oh, course, babe, course. is that we eat it. We incorporate it into our lifestyle. We don't have to denounce it. For what? For steak? What are you talking about? These things are two different things. For image. This guy's really an image guy, you know? What I'm saying You don't need here, to wear a 2K suit. You can wear jeans. He's pissing me off. Like you can wear tracksuits. Yeah, Do you dress like this 24-7? I'm not wearing clothes 24-7. So growing yeah. up, my mum and my grandma actually taught me how to cook. Um, all these dishes that I make now, I'm not going to disrespect them by quantifying and measuring every single ingredient that I put into it. It's not disrespecting me, them. This is how it's supposed to taste, uh, and this is how it's supposed to be made. This whole westernized way of cooking, that's how they make their them. dishes. Shoma, what is coming over here is that, that you both have a different plan. Mm. <laughs> and at some point, if you were to both get onto each other's page. Preach it would be an easier solution. Period. Period. There's no period and there's no preach. So stop doing yeah, that, yeah, that's yeah, patronising. Yeah, yeah. OK? Yeah, he's yeah. exaggerating. Don't do that. He, he's telling Very you, like, I naughty, want to eat palm oil every single day. I don't do you that. Fucking I don't fry it every day. <laughs> no, I don't fry palm oil every day. No, 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 no. I'm getting a tiny bit pissed off. Let's think oh, about I it. I know, like, where is palm oil? Can you lots let me know in the comment section below? Because obviously, man's Jamaican. I don't know what palm oil is. It's now. All right. Let me give you a case scenario, right? <coughs> so, let's say I'm up in, give or take, Mayfair, training a client, huge mansion, right? Now, I'm preaching, you know, eat healthy, be fit. Come on, let's go. Five more reps, right? I get home. We've got the fucking Afrobeats whiz kid pumping in the house, yeah? Chubb is there dancing around, frying oil in the fucking pot. What the hell? <laughs> There's a fucking spray yeah. that you can spray You'll to calculate the thing. I've told you this a million times. You come in the house to fucking play a whiz kid like we're in a fucking village. What type of crap is that? I like Afrobeats. I love Afrobeats. I also listen to other genres. What, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't eat palm oil every day. I don't know what house you're going to, but I don't eat palm oil every day. I would like to eat these yeah, heavy foods. Yeah, yeah. He's cheating on you. He's cheating on you, man. I also eat steak and salmon and on sea on bass phone, and everything else that he eats just seasoned, all right? What I'm trying to say is the fact Paul does not like African dishes. We are both Nigerian. Do you understand that? Like we, we come from a place. So he's denounced his culture 
all for his Mayfair clients. This is my issue. Not that I want him to but do it every single day. With the greatest respect, the Mayfair clients aren't in your house. Mm. When so you why does he come home, home to, with that same attitude then? Yeah. Choma, Choma has this whole kind leave of your work, centric personal type business, of role, things, go back to Africa. I'm true. African and I'm proud. Yeah, we're I all mean, proud to work, be African. Don't, don't get me wrong. But at the same no, time, well, we're in so London well. right now. Like, let's get with the programme. Do you understand? Africa, yeah, we could do that another time. But right now we're here. So, so just because you got your red book, your British visa, you're trying to sell out, let's not forget where you came from, bro. Not, not because you get visa, not because you get a little red book. Let me tell you something, they can take that back and deport you any day. Let's not forget your culture, bro. Let's not do that, innit? Because I feel like a lot of people like to come over to the UK. Yeah, yeah, we get my red book and forget where they're coming from. They forget their roots. Don't sell out because the Queen can send you back. This is her land, bro. <laughs> let's get to grips of what's going on. So, most of the people you train, do you actually know them? Um, there's a couple. Yes. Sorry. Oh, Sorry, Denise, but yeah, question. that's the answer. We'll get. The yeah, question. there's a couple I do know personally. No. Okay. Um, one being my ex. Um, I'm managing, Denise. What? Managing. Okay. Have you met? What? Her, no, bro. Yeah, bro. I mean, that's a vibe. Your ex. She seems, she seems your ex. Nice. Your ex. I mean, your ex. The issue that I don't <laughs> trust you. So that's the issue there. Oh, <laughs> but she, the ex, is okay. Okay. Pause, 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 pause. Yeah, pause for now. The ex. Not the ex, sure. The ex, you must have blood clot, man. Anyhow, my girl was any kind of personal trainer. And she's telling me that she's training. Um, um, she's training her ex. You must be joking. There's no way that she could be training ex. Ex what? I'm your current. Train me, bitch. Are you mad? You can't do stuff like that. You can't do stuff like that. But you've uh, got no reason to worry about him with the ex, have you? See, the thing is... I worry about them with the ex. I've had too many bad experiences with ex. Well, not even I have too many bad experiences. I just don't like exes. Like, what is the reason of you says. being with so the ex? What's the point of like you that well talking to, to an ex, having contact with an ex? To continue and to continue to train ex need. his ex. Wait, don't you think the use of the word is the word allowed? Yeah, but Javel. It is allowed because she shouldn't be allowing you that. Like, I can and never allow you to money that we buy your next Gucci bag, right? No, but, but we're talking you about stupid? your ex. If I did not want you to yeah. train her, let's be honest, you wouldn't be training her. So that I have allowed you to do that. No. I don't, I don't agree. Do you know what? At the start, when Jamal told me that he was training his ex, I didn't really feel You're even brave for telling her, brother. I, I, I met I her at like a yo. party or something, and you know, she was pretty cool. And for that reason, you know, I was able to make peace with the fact that he's training her. So yeah, you're a man clone. You are a man clone. How can you sit down there and let your man train the ex? You know how sweaty that is. You are close up to getting together. Like, bro. That can't run. So, yes, I'm, I'm okay with it. My girl can if I'm not trusting his interaction with my his general clients, never. his ex, where they have history, you know, it's a little bit funny, but we'll leave that one there. The same way I allowed to get affirmation. Okay. Sorry? What was that? What did you um, do in affirmation? And you're both going now, are you? Um, no, she's going by herself. Oh, is she? <laughs> are you? With her friends, I guess. Wait, can we just rewind? Um, first of all, you you trust me, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. So you're not allowing me to go Afro Nation because mm, yes, I'm allowing you to go Afro Nation. No, that's what we're not going to do. Wait, hold on. Do you remember what happened the year before you we went? Like, all the stories that you came to film me in. Yeah, yeah it, it, it was like, it was a good year, but at that point try. I was single. Yeah. So true. Wait, let's clarify this. I allowed you to go as my girl. I allowed you to go. No, because there's nothing that I'm going to do at Afro Nation that you're not going to approve of. So you didn't allow me to go. Hold I on, on. I'm able okay. to go because like I'm like I'm fine. Like if I told you not to go Afro Nation, would you go? That's my point. You guys know, like, Afro Nation is wild. Like, the stories, the videos, the Snapchats, you name it. Like, it's crazy. So, me personally, like, I'm secure, but me allowing Deborah to go because I trust her, that's what yeah, it's all about, right? I've got some food for you. One second, this, I'm just gonna quickly. Jamal, I'm gonna need you to please read to Denise what it says on there because I don't wanna embarrass you, so just. You know, please, I, I need you Embarrass to... him. Because you said you wasn't going Afro Nation, Embarrass him. You said you wasn't going Afro Nation. Jamal, Embarrass him. Take your phone back, man. Jamal, can you read it, please? All right, cool. Embarrass him. It just says, thank you for... <laughs> thank you for your order. 
Ah, pa 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 pa. So mm -hmm. you're a little hypocrite, bro, cause you're going as well. Look at me sticking up for you and your deadline to your missus again. Deborah, listen, my DMs are open. Order for what? My DMs are open. No, okay, Denise. I will so, take you to Afro Nation. Um, this is an Afro Nation it, event Afrination. that Jamel said he's not actually attending. Says, mm. thank you for your order, Jamel. Please mm -hmm. ensure you retain a copy of this email and use your order mm -hmm. ID in all correspondence mm -hmm. regarding this order mm -hmm. from Afro. You get catch up to look for fucker. A fucker, yo. A fucker, yo. A fucker, yo. Nation 2021. This is dodgy mm -hmm. as fuck. Fuck, like, Isn't it? when I first Which girl you thinking out there, bro? ticket in Jamal's emails, I thought, okay, let me not say anything. Let me see if he actually tells me that he's going. Like, I'm not being funny. You thinking when, did he actually think when he did this? Because what do you expect to happen when Afro Nation actually happens? It's very, very strange. It's another reason why I don't trust him. So you are yeah. going? Jamel obviously didn't know that I actually saw a screenshot of the ticket mm -hmm. for this mm -hmm. festival that he said he's not going mm -hmm. to. So now when I say mm -hmm. you're shady, do you understand? That is shady. Oh, do you know what? Gonna 50 shades are great. No, that's ridiculous. So, Surprise me. Yeah, why not? Surprise, now you're being childish because you were going because you had ulterior mm -hmm. motives and you didn't want to tell me. Wait, my material motives. Listen, I'm you... I'm surprised you're having a good time, no. to be fair. Listen, what you did was you mentioned the fact that in 2019, yeah. crazy stuff was happening. As a, as, as, as a guy who has a girlfriend, I don't feel like... And with your behaviour, I do not feel like Afro Nation is a place for you to be in. So regardless of that... Regardless of that, yeah, is there a place for you? you? Wasn't going. Double I standards don't run in this relationship. I'm open with the things that I do, like... I'm open. I don't mind. I'm telling. I'm up. Well, I did ask him if I could go, and we came to an agreement. You know, it's not about allowing me. We came to an agreement. Yeah, an agreement which I allowed you to actually. Okay. Go. Anyways, we came to an agreement, and the fact is, you knew that I was going Afro Nation. Like your your the way you're playing so, it, that's okay. actually pissing me off. What's the big deal? Are you, are you if all I right? Went, if I went to attend, what's the big deal? Like, you're right. Are you sick? That's not a problem. Listen. <laughs> that shouldn't really be a problem. Can you find it in anywhere within yourself to? somehow compromise the way you want to eat so that you're both working together well i can easily gain weight and be fucking dirty professor if that's what you mean or you can easily cook for yourself because again like i said i don't mind if he eats that but just make it yourself or we do it on a sunday yeah all this fresh every single day i've got things to do yeah brilliant idea we did speak previously about whether or not you had anything in common you know that you do together this would be Possibly a perfect scenario. If, if I had the time. On a Sunday? So is she supposed to have the time? Go on. Look, okay. Or you just choose not to? No, no, no. To be fair, you know, Sunday, the day of arrest and stuff. Okay, cool. But if I have a client and they have, you know, a fashion show coming up, um, one of the models I train, basically, I need to make sure that I'm on her case. What are you training? Sure what are you training? Where is he training? Yeah, if I have another client. I never got that. Where is he training? Like You're talking about this training now. Who are you, you training? Lying to? Who are you lying to? Because remember, Denise doesn't live with us. I live with you to know you have time, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm not saying you're not, you're not busy. You are, babe, I get that. But you have time. You can make time during the day. He, he knows he can. So what are you lying about? You have time to cook, Paul. Okay, okay. <laughs> I, I, I could find... All this body, he's wasting it because we don't even have sex. So stop all your rubbish. Oh. <gasps> okay, on, no. on that note... That's a low... Oh. Oh. It's going to be a long night. Let's go. <laughs> So please don't make fun of it no because this, you know, it's a very important scenario. Mm -hmm. you're Can I just say, if he's not giving it to you, he's getting it from somewhere way. else. Yeah, it is. And your relationship is also a very serious yeah. business. Yeah. Thank um, you. And Shoma has just mentioned the sexual side of your life. Now, has it always been this way? Or no. when you first got together, was it very different? When we first got together, we used to fuck like animals. Do you understand? We had things to do. We were like still busy. Headaches. You and I, we had jobs. We you know why? It's because it's old. We Again, were busy. Young nigger. We made young nigger. time to have nigger. sex. Now, I don't understand what it is. I don't, I don't know. If, I don't know if Paul is cheating. I don't know if he's not attractive. Well, it doesn't. Somewhere. Okay, well, we're asking. When was the last somewhere. time we had sex? Scientifically, <laughs> yes, we are animals, but we're not in the bloody forest, are we? Do you understand? Like, I'm not just going to come home, start jumping up and down like a rabbit. Like, he's got time for that. I'm busy. But I'm she said you money. don't have like, sex. So if you're not getting from her, where are you getting it from? Open, ready to do a yeah, that is it's the question. Like that. When well, last did you fuck me? Do you really want to go there? Please, no, answer the question. Do you remember? Because I don't. Uh, I'll tell you. How can I be in the same house touching myself? 
with a boyfriend mm. in the same house with me. Okay, no, Denise, Denise, I've got this, I've got this, I've got this. Right. Okay. Let, let's just hear what Paul's got to say. All right, babe. No way. Babe. No I love way. you. So why don't you touch me? When I, when I come home from work and I, and I see my girlfriend... I'm like, sorry, but you can see that she feels very, like, insecure about that, bro. You need to pattern up. You need to pattern up. When I just see her, touch her. I'm happy. Rub up that, the little pom pom, you know? That's like, enough. So even if you don't want to come, me. fuck it. But at the same the time, boom, boom. why do you I say I have to please like her a little bit, man? You need me inside of you 247 before you can feel love. I don't feel like I need you inside me 247, but I'm not wood. Okay, 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 I'm a woman okay, okay. and I find you attractive and well, I would I like to have sex woman. with you once hey. in a while. Yeah. Even if it's once yeah, a week, no babe, because we don't do that. I understand that I might have a high sex drive, but Paul has a very low sex drive and we can meet in the middle somehow. Do you know what I mean? I don't mind yeah. having sex at least three times a week. We at are not even having that a month. So, of course, I have every right to complain. I feel that it's a disrespect no, to him true, and to myself that I'm having to touch myself in my sense. house when I live with my partner. Yeah. What you need to do first, right? Mm-hmm. Me, I'm not very sex me. orientated, but I do but like sex I also once I'm in the maid. I'm in the maid, yes. Okay. <laughs> so you don't want to no, have no, sex? No, what I'm saying is, you need to love you first. I love me. You need to love you more. She so, loves her. To do what? To not be able to release? No, no, in order for you to not feel like you need me to be inside of you before you can feel loved. Don't let Listen, me suspect you, because at the end of the day, I don't understand what this means. I could be in the if house... If she doesn't want you inside of her, she's going to want next to you up. You want, me to, you want me to say hey, you're wearing booty shorts? No, you can touch my bum, I don't know, slip it in or something. Yeah. Do something that men men yeah. do to their, their girls yeah. when you see them. Slap up a body time. Yeah. Shlomo, do you yeah. ever instigate sex with him? All the time. <laughs> There's a situation where we plan to have sex. Paul was, I don't know what happened, he agreed anyway. It's even, a, I'm so embarrassed saying this, like we organized a day where we were going to have sex. I went out, I bought you lunch ready. It. I, I when bought it's rose like petals, wine. I put, I, you know, dimmed the lights, it's everything. Paul came in. Do you know what he did? Sleep. He ate and he went to bed. Yeah. I have to get him on weekends and we have to put it in our diary because he's very much about diary, let's schedule this, no, let's put this in our diary, sex. blah, blah, sex ain't He's fun trying that to make me feel unattractive even though I know I'm sexy as fuck yeah. and I know there's men out there it's that like would want what he I doesn't want. So for I me, it's you. like, if you don't want it, then let me go, kind of thing. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Okay, so that day, um, long story short, um, had a late night. So one of my clients, uh, one of my top clients, he's only in the country two weeks out of the um, month. Um, he lives in Abu Dhabi, long story. These Anyhow, clients, um, like, you're so always I talking about your clients. This is so couples therapy that like, what has a client got to do I with? That he and you want to come have chat for back chat, bro. Let me tell you that, most of the men on back chat now have never met you. Exceeds the target, you, I'll run you just seem very money on the table. So like, with clients like that, I can't say well, to them, oh, I'll no, give you a discount. Good, no, like, that doesn't well, work. Not really you need to do something. It's just, so it's long story short, he hit his target head, and like. I ran the 10K, right? The there. She's By the time I got home, I was knackered. Like, is there something wrong? Now, Choma basically wants me to carry her that night. Not necessarily. It's a joke. Uh, Sorry, go back. I didn't catch that. Now, Choma basically wants me to... Go back. He hit his target and I ran the 10K, right? Mm -hmm. By the time I got home, I was knackered. Okay. Now, Choma basically wants me to carry her that night. Not necessarily. It's a joke. Did, you, did you say anything about your situation at work or did you leave Shoma not knowing why? Because it, it might yeah, have, have been read as if you weren't interested. Of course I'm interested. I'll be about no, I don't, I don't think he is, because at the end of the day, I knew nothing about the 10K. He agreed to have sex that day, so why are we not having sex? No, because... You let me go out and buy lingerie, you allowed me to cook, you still no, ate the food. No, why were you tired I'll, to I'll eat? You, I'll tell you the problem that I have yeah, with right. trauma, right? I feel like whenever she initiates sex, hmm. it's not genuine. And what, what I mean by that... What? But let me explain. No, 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 I'll, I'll make it. So it's going to make sense now. Okay. So she has a different okay. approaches, right? Sometimes I could be at the door, she's dragging me in from the tie. You understand? Mm -hmm. Other times, you know, she could play it cool. She could say, okay, you know what? She's going to cook this, meal prep. So what, you don't like her when a female's before she just tells you that, yo, it's time, like, 
It's tight. The night. She had the rose petals, she had the candles, she had the massage bed, right? Yeah. So I'm laying down, I'm getting the massage. And I just think to myself that, you know what the funny thing is? A million percent, that massage has to end with a happy ending. Why are you saying it like I, I did something wrong? But that's not a happy ending. Sex is not a happy ending. No, if a massage has to have a happy ending, that is not a happy ending. Do you see what I'm coming from? What do you mean has to? What? You know, just have You're a conversation. You're waffling, bro. The best part of a massage is the happy ending, especially if it's coming from a woman. Like, if she's there giving you a massage, rubbing down your body, and she's like, yeah, cool, let me just slip it in my mouth. Bro, where's your problem? Where's your problem? She jumped on the top on a massage bed, like, what is going on? Violence. Like, you're doing it too much. You're doing too much. Give us the show. Bang, bang. Too much. It's not like that. I just like a calm much. vibe. Like, let's let's you're be chilled with much. it. Let's be mature. Why am I having to do these things what is in order about to have sex, sex with my man? Sorry, Why do I have to lure to him in order to put him in a position where, okay, I'm he might want to have sex with me? I'm a sapiosexual. What does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> are you not attracted to me? Of course me? I'm attracted to then you. Then why are you not trying to have sex? No, no, I'm, I'm trying to have sex, but at the same time, mentally, right? You know what it is? You're not there. I don't want to feel like, okay, anytime you're doing something, you're doing something because you want something. Okay, so why can't you initiate? Why Why do I have to do something? There are days where I don't necessarily do anything. Why can't you just come to me and, you know, try it? All right, look at this one. Now, I've got an idea, okay? This is something that we do regularly in therapy. Just for a moment, take a minute, and let's go back to what made you fall for each other in the beginning. Okay, bear with me. We'll I would see. like you to turn and face each other. Don't say face anything. Him. And just look into each other's eyes for approximately, it's gonna feel like forever. But in that time, you will find something within yourself that was there at the beginning. Just believe me, this, this, this does work. So just please, just turn and face each other and look into each other's eyes. Hey, she wants to stab you up right now, you know. Um, <laughs> she wants to stab you up right now. Penance, by the way. Sorry, I'm just. She wants to stab you up right now. She can't believe what you just. Yeah. So what do we do? We just. You just look at each other. And then what happens after that? That's just, it. Just. Okay. Mm hmm. Assassination. <laughs> pretty, pretty big, I guess. So, would you see each other if you were there? That was a joke. It was not something I was going to hide from her, really and truly. How can I even hide from it in Affirmation? Like, Affirmation is quite small. She's going to see me regardless. Denise, the thing for me is the fact that he lied. Let's call it what it is. You lied. You said you wasn't going, and on your laptop, yeah. Yeah. I found the festival ticket booked. Mm. How are you going to explain that? Mm. The funniest thing about it, I actually personally didn't buy my own ticket. So... God. <laughs> it's always an excuse. So hey, one thing about us men, we know how to excuse. Well. So if we are, let's it's always go excuse. together. So I thought, she told me that with she's going with her friends. So I was thinking, ah, oh, that's cool. I was going to go anywhere. So obviously my friend said, yeah, let's all go. I thought... Yeah, let's all go. You're all actually good. waffling now. You're waffling and you're deflecting. I'm Can we please address the fact that he lied, Denise? I didn't lie, I just wanted to surprise her. You lied. So, you, know, you had a thing out there, bro. He wasn't trying to tell her. He wasn't trying to tell her. Both of you as honest. He wasn't trying to tell her. So, I'm being honest. Like, I genuinely wanted to surprise her and have a good time. Like, I'm sure she was. You're like, lying. I sense myself, cap. Popped over by your I friends and yourself. You just have an amazing time. Like, well, that's yeah. limited money you have to spend. That's really and truly. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it either, still. You lied. I'm not buying it. We're just going to leave it there for a second and do a little exercise that's going to help highlight the trust within your relationship and show the openness. So mm. I'd like you to each tell each other something that the other person doesn't yet know about you. So something new. This one can end the relationship. Be Would careful. Like Be careful. <laughs> Be oh, can you think of anything? Okay, I guess I got. Um, yeah, I'll go first, I guess. Um, well, I'm I kind of used to like your sister before I met you, you know. Ah! Oh. What? Um, yeah, 
this girl. What? What's this star? Yeah, M class, innit? He used to fancy her. Mm. She's just pretty, innit? Yeah, like, like, Sam, second best. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't have it. I wouldn't have it. He couldn't get the sister, so he got you, sis. Not second. No. Put it like that. It's just he had no. some stuff. No, I'm not going to go too no. deep. Into it, but obviously, so, no. so you fancied M class before me? No. So, like, like, I'm <laughs> so why didn't you move to M class then? Because I saw you. You're the side pick. Yeah, no, that's strange. I don't like that. That's really weird. No, you need to left him. The fuck? Man, like man. Man. Man, man liked his sister. You was a good enough. He couldn't have had the sister. He said the sister was better than you. Why did you tell me that here, though? Just asking. Yeah, why did you tell her? That's very awkward. Why did you tell her that day? What am I actually doing It's very embarrassing. Jamel yeah, is now bringing there? up that he used to fancy my sister. I'm not really First, it was Affirmation. He didn't tell you that. Right See, it's your sister. And making this is progress, fucking your auntie. But now he's Yo. giving me information like this. It's yeah. embarrassing. Right. God, that's okay, that's okay, that's okay. Right. I got mine. Cool. I got mine, Denise. Yeah, so, go petty. Go petty. Jamal, I authorise this. I authorise it. I I'm your manager. I authorise it. Ooh. But I haven't used it, but I made an early fans account. You've got a what account? Oh, only fans account? So, um, that doesn't wait, talk wait, as wait. if you haven't posted anything on there. You need you to got post what? Something first. An OnlyFans account. You just created the account. That's how you created it. <laughs> I'm not going to use it. I, I didn't make it to use that it. That doesn't talk as if you watch your sister. I mean, well, maybe. Sister was I'm joking. I'm joking. I made an OnlyFans account. What is, in, what is this account? Um, so, it's basically. Uh, Yours is in the top so here because there's no pussy. your account there. and then you can do like private you things want your on there pussy. and. Sometimes sexual or some like could be a fetish or something. So yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> I made one. Okay. <laughs> you feel proud of yourself, but you want to. How your does that make you feel now you both know something about each other? Not relationships. Oh, I don't even care anymore. I feel great. I feel better. <laughs> you didn't like the task. When Denise set this task, I didn't expect it to be like this. I thought it'd be light hearted. But the fact that she came to drop to me that she got an OnlyFans account, she crazy. Like she talks about trust, about me, this and this and that, but she didn't post that. You are her sister, it's not the same. Account. I get the feeling that you're not feeling so happy oh, about well, it. I've gone through this quality, you know. No, I feel like doesn't happen on back chat. Even coming there, like, I'm pretty much over and done with more well, done with this. That, that this was your idea. Yeah, my idea. Yeah. And I just thought it would be better for us, but it's not going any better. Okay, well. For face value, I understand, you know, bald head, yeah. beard. I'm a hunky guy. I lift heavy metal. I get it. Mm -hmm. But, you know, coming home and technically every time we have sex, having to carry my girlfriend, it can be a bit exhausting. You know, first, you don't have to carry me every single time we have sex. Just lift her up and do the doom. Even if you did, like, what's, what's the issue? Doom, doom. You used to carry me before. Doom, doom. So are you lazy now or what? Things were a bit different. In what way? I've younger. gained weight. I, I didn't say that. Then what then? What's the problem? Well... Chioma is still fine. She had sex as she was on back chat. Okay. All my clothes still fit, so I wouldn't think I've gained weight. Would you know? I guess, yeah. I haven't, I haven't gained weight. Have I gained weight? Is that what you're trying to say? I'm not, I'm not trying to say you gained weight, but since we're on the topic... Let's she have looks a 60, discussion. she's, she's so, full and she's nice. Random question. You just feel like a bulldozer. Your legs look... Than the rest of your body. In the last six months, skip have it. you weighed yourself? I'm joking. Ah, oh, you can't do that. What? Okay. You can't tell a woman about weight. Have you ever weight. calculated so... your, ca your calorie intake? Yes or no? What are you trying yes to say? No? I don't calculate my calorie calculate intake. Again. So, okay. If you so don't calculate it in the that, last six it. months, the last three months. So I'm just chatting shit, guys. I'm yeah, really but I've my, 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 I still eat the same. You still eat the same? Okay, cool. Do you calculate what you're eating? Paul, what exactly? No, 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 no. You're saying something. You brought it up. You brought it up. Let's have the conversation. conversation. I didn't bring it up. We're in therapy, and it's a safe place. Let's have the conversation now. If we, if we really want to break it down, what are you saying? No, 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 fat. Well, I'm not saying you're fat. But you just, you just said I didn't say you're fat. You're the one that said the word fat. No. Did I say fat? I didn't say fat. What I'm saying. Why is, are you getting so defensive? I'm not getting defensive. She's trying to put words into my mouth. Do you understand? I never said she is fat. She is the one that brought it up. And you know, when you kind of look at it, she's technically, psychologically taking accountability for her own mistakes in terms of, like, maybe her diet or fitness or anything like that, it's not my fault. This is an issue she has for herself. She knows what I do, right? And at the end of the day, between the both of us, we've had discussions where she has mentioned that she wants to lose weight. He looked right? like he would fuck me up. And I said, like, great, I support you with that, right? You just right? be careful of what I'm saying. However, 
when it comes to <laughs> trying to kind of keep her in check in order to motivate her to achieve her goals, it becomes a problem. She says, I'm calling her fat. I didn't call you fat. I'm saying that you haven't been tracking your intake. Therefore, you technically speaking... Therefore, you can't carry me during sex. No, no, no. It's not... Look, forget about the sex for now. Because you've got no, you said fat. You said fat and you said gain weight. Let's, let's stick to that topic. Yeah? yeah. Because, that, yeah. yeah. Is that why you don't want to have sex? No, no, no. It's not that. But I, I just want you to kind of be uh, considerate, sexually, right? At the end of the day, Consider when you if, don't if you're not the person doing the lifting, then you you're not the person that's going to kind of look into or calculate the weight. So, that... so in other words, I'm fat. I didn't say you're fat. Babe, just what? say what it is. No, 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 no I, didn't I didn't say you're fat. fat. You're the one that said you're fat. I didn't say you're hey, fat. This is going to go down. I didn't say you're fat. You said you're fat. She starts looking at herself too long in the mirror. She starts thinking, is there something wrong with her? First of all, and secondly, would well, this, this is how women start to build with insecurities, and that's why she won't get harassed by you no more, that's why she be 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 with be Okay, cool. Do you know what? Do you, do you know what, yeah? I'm sorry, but you're fully you, telling her yeah, off. You can see her yeah, face, swear. she can't say stuff like that. Bro. I will be with you through thick and thin. Even I knew that. I promise. I was, I was chubby woman, before. I can see that. And she loves me the same way. She used to, when I used to have my transformation picture. So I'm chubby. She will show all my face. Babe, so I'm chubby. I didn't say you're chubby. I'm speaking to myself. I said I so was chubby. What does that even mean? But how does why you this is comparing that situation? No woman wants to hear that she's put on yeah. weight, especially by her partner, somebody she finds physically attractive. The fact that he's not even being direct about it is what's pissing me off because you feel a type of weight and you're going around bends around the bush. Yeah, I think he's being very insensitive right now, very disrespectful. Um, and I don't really know why I'm here. You're getting offensive, and I know when you do that, that means I'm, you're, you're trying to say something, but you're not saying it with your chest. That's why you don't want to have sex. Cause this you think, is cause you're a no space longer where you can me. say however you feel, but not... Don't, please don't attack Save each other. Save your chest, bro. Just, Save did, your I, chest. did I attack her? OK, did I attack her? Save your chest. I'm not physically, no, but verbally, it's coming over. Oh, she this said is, she this said is now she is fat. I don't, I don't want to say she's fat. fat. She said, said she's fat. fat. So, so how is that no, me attacking her verbally? I'm saying what she just said. Make her feel good. I'm tired. Right, so. How long? We've because I don't because you've just called me fat. I don't and call you fat. And there's cameras around, first of all. And now this is you've literally this is the first time I'm hearing it. So this is obviously the reason why we don't have sex, because you don't find me attractive anymore. That's not true. And you're saying it for the first time in front of, in front of cameras. Yeah, that's not true. That's fine. That. I'm, I'm that's fine. I'm keeping that. Thank you. I'm done. I don't want to do this no more. OK. I can appreciate that it's been a difficult session. Um, but if you wouldn't mind, I'm just going to send you away with some homework. Yeah, that's fine. Can we just do that quickly? Thank you. So what I'd like you to do is write down five things, both of you, five things that you appreciate in each other and five things that you have done for each other. So it doesn't have to be on one day, obviously, there, she's crying. over the last few weeks. Are you Can just you side five like... things with both of those subject matters? Oh, no. OK. Shoma, Shoma, please, just calm down. I'm calm. I'm okay. Okay. She's disconnected. You know, things do get very though. heated in sessions, and you know. You're a waste, man. Things are said. Oh, you, you gotta have chat for us. Way, you gotta have chat for us. You gotta have chat for us. Yes. Go. Can we leave? I, you know, I can see that there's real value in you as as a couple. Denise, can we, I can't I think, believe I think, you said I think that. Can we? Can Can we leave now? You. You're yeah, making please. it worse. Yeah, I can't lie. That episode of Blue Therapy was a was a lot. Like, I just feel like. You know, they need counselling. That's why they're dead. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, that poor guy is something else. Chioma needs to find a better man. Like, you can't be telling... You can't be telling a girl that she's fat on national TV. Like, it just doesn't work like that. Like, you know, these episodes are getting millions of views. You've got to tell her that she's fat. And you couldn't even tell her privately. Like, bro, she doesn't rate your thing. I'm not going to lie, Blue Therapy is a good... It's, that episode was good, if it is real. Like, it's, it was really good. And it's very sad if it's real. Like, that Deborah girl... I don't know, before I thought she was an airhead, but now I can just kind of see that both of them as messed up as each other. I feel like Deborah should be with Paul and Chioma should be with that Jamal. I feel they got a better chance that way. They should just switch partners. Yeah, but like, I don't know. Like, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I was watching it, just taking everything in, and I just feel like, you know what I mean? That, that, Paul, that Paul needs to learn how to treat his woman better. And I feel like Deborah and... Deborah and... 
<laughs> Deborah needs to be less materialistic and that Jamal guy just looks like he's snaky, bro. I don't know. Is it, is it, is it, I don't know, I don't know. Jamal doesn't give me as bad vibes as Paul does, but I definitely think there's some shit to work through. Anyways, let me know what you lots are saying in the comment section below. Make sure you guys like, comment, if you need to channel, make sure you guys subscribe, turn on your post notifications, and let's see you in the next video. Guys, I've got some lit shit coming out. Back chat episode is out as well, came out yesterday. Make sure you guys go check it out. See you guys in the next video. Out. Peace.